Alright, I'm going to try to make a video on if you accidentally unscrew your FPV lens completely apart, which I've done and I have pieces of it laying in a bin. But I took my lens out of my beater ZMR and I'm going to take it apart. I've already taken it apart, took a picture of it, put it back in, put it together, put it back in so it works. So I did it right. So I'm going to do it a second time. And hopefully it shows up good on video. Um, most of them are glued together, but I guess sometimes they can come undone. My old lens came undone real easy, and I thought I was unscrewing it. I kept unscrewing, 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 and then tipped it, and everything fell out on the floor. So, first off, you're going to unscrew your lens. And I am using my Runcam 2 to record this. So I don't know how good it's going to show up, but hold this up, so you got your, I guess that would be your retaining ring, and you want to slowly let stuff come out. So there's your, uh, I don't even know what that would be considered, I guess that would be your field of view lens piece. Next. Is this type of, I'm not even sure what you want to call it, collector, retaining ring, or something. But it's it's in there, okay, but it, if you tap it, it will come out. But this is where you got to be careful. You just want to just be able to grab it, tip it back up. See, I didn't get it. Trying to take this apart without dropping everything. We'll try it this way. See, now this doesn't want to come out. Okay, there we got it. It's my fingertips. So I'm taking everything out and putting it in. Basically, the way everything's coming out is like that. Next is a little glass lens if you have like a barbecue skewer that helps to pick some stuff out and not mark it up. So this lens comes out next. And I don't know how you can see, I can't see, but there's a little like recessed uh, I don't know, cut out in this in this tube where these main lenses are resting in. And with these lenses, this one's the hardest one to, to uh, determine which way it faces. But this end is domed or concaved or convex or whatever term it is more towards, you know, like this lens was. So you're, you're, you want to kind of match the dome shapes to each other. So as light's coming in, you want the dome shape and to be collecting the light, I guess, or the image. So that's going to sit like that. Now, you can't pick these out. I'm just going to try to carefully dump them. But what should come out next is a little black ring. Another lens, which my lens, the bottom of it was marked black, was like a Sharpie marker. So I don't know if that's something they do that's from the factory. And then a very tiny ring, and then uh, I guess it would be the IR, the little red shiny lens. So I'm going to tip this over quickly, and see, it kind of just fell apart, but, so what comes out next is this thicker black ring, and then this lens, which it is notched. Oops. They're very hold, hard to hold on to, but mine was marked black on the bottom. I don't know if that's something someone did from the factory. I didn't do it. <laughs> so once again, this is domed more towards where this notch is. It's actually a like smaller diameter on the dome part. So that goes like that. Then this very thin ring, 
and then finally the I guess it's the IR blocking or the little red filter. So there you have it. And putting it back together, you drop the pieces in there. You drop the little black ring in there. Everything pretty much starts to sit where it's supposed to go because it's um, a channel in there for everything for these smaller pieces to ride into. Make sure the black ring, if you have a black ring, but the, the larger diameter portion drops down in first. Which that's where a barbecue skewer can help. You can drop it in. And see, it didn't sit down in there right, so I kind of just flick it around and then just give it a little poke. And then it will sit. Yeah, it sat right down in there. Next, you need the thicker ring. Again, use your barbecue skewer to, to poke it around and seat it properly. You don't really want to force nothing, but everything seems to sit in there good. Again, this convex part should be facing up. So we'll, it, This one's harder to see, actually, while you, while you have this out. Maybe take a little black uh, Sharpie marker and mark the bottom of it. Drop that in. That's in there. Next comes this piece, which it drops in pretty easy. Then your field of view lens. I'm guessing that's what it is. And finally, the retaining ring. And if yours isn't glued, maybe put a dab of super glue in there so it never comes out. And then finally, your your lock ring. And then you can put it back into your SUV camp.